and live like it's heaven on earth. So Heaven on Earth is, is a CD recording that will bring together some of the greatest music of all time. Classical music, music theatre, some originals, in a way that people haven't heard before. So we've reinvented with the incredible Joe Kendamo some of the greatest works by Mozart, Beethoven, Faure, Dvorak and so on. And I've written some special lyrics for a number of the songs to bring the songs into the 21st century. I mean, this is music that's been around for, you know, some of it for over 200, 300 years. And it's so beautiful and timeless. And to create songs out of some of that music is, it's just a really special process. And then of course, there's some really famous pieces like Summertime and Somewhere and Edith Piaf's La Vie en Rose. And some originals as well, which, um, which Joe's created. And again, I've written some words for. So. It's a project that is designed um, to illuminate, to transform, for meditation, for reflection. Songs of love, light, journey and angels. Heaven on Earth will appeal to people because of its depth, its romance and its yearning. And I think people are always searching for something to make them feel. In a way, uh, Heaven on Earth has helped me to return to my roots. Um, there's something very Italian about this um, in spirit. Uh, in the, 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 you know, the, the Puccini-esque grandeur um, of, the, of the pieces and also the repertoire that we've chosen. Um, there's, a, I have a, there's a larrikin streak in me that um, likes to um, tackle works that other people, you know, wouldn't touch for fear of, um, uh, you know, messing with something that's sacrosanct. You know, for instance, the, the Beethoven Emperor Concerto, the slow movement for, from that is, you know, one of the most gorgeous pieces of music. Tanya's put words um, to it, and similarly with the Mozart clarinet concerto, the adagio from that, you know. Um... You know one of the most famous melodies, um, she's uh, uh, written a text to it, the lyrics, and, and as an arranger, coming up with a whole uh, different set of, well, an alternative set of harmonies on music like this is a dangerous thing because you better do it well. Otherwise, it, well, it's like changing Shakespeare. My first problem is to determine where the singer is or where the people are, you know, what they're doing. And my biggest concern is um, how good do I think they can be? And do they know how good they can be? Because most people who I do records for end up saying, it came out so much better than I expected it to. And that's what my job is. So my job is to create the, um, the situation to make it easy to record and maybe a bit of direction here and there where I feel it might be useful to get the performance.
this is my chance really um, to create some music to reach a whole new audience that is going to, I think, be touched by these incredible pieces of music that have been reinvented in such a magical way by Joe. Um, and I think it's just really important for people to feel, like, like Joe said, it's, it's so important for people in this day and age to feel a sense of meaning and purpose in their lives. Um, it's not just about the day to day. This, this CD really allows people to transcend and to transmute some emotions that, you know, that they might be having that are a bit tough and negative emotions into something more positive, to feel hope and love and inspiration and peace too, because you know, there's, there's a lot in this CD about, about finding the light, about feeling peace within yourself. Um, about being in the present moment. There's a lot in this C CD about that, about just the present moment is all we have, you know, the past is history, the future is a mystery. This is the present and this CD is a present. <laughs> to find new methods, new paths, whether in art or television, entertainment or in music. Uh, a lot of what we hear uh, tends to be contrived because it's hard to come up with something new and I think people are starved of something that just simply is going to make them feel and uh, you know, the musicians will hopefully, you know, people who, who want to delve into the, the craft a lot more will hopefully be fascinated by the new harmonies and, and, and the orchestrations. And Wonderful pianist, um, beautiful arranger, you know, extraordinary composer. <laughs> I mean, and he's just a great guy to work with, you know, he, he I completely trust him to, to bring the best out of me and, and I know that we both seek excellence and um, we're both very passionate people and yeah, there is, there is an Italianate Puccini-esque, I think Joe put his Puccini-esque feeling here, you know, there's a real feeling of passion and vibrancy around this project and we've been working on this for about a year so, you know, it just hasn't happened overnight. I just met Chris um, via Joe, and, and Joe just spoke so highly of Chris. And, and, and you know, I know, I mean, Chris has worked with all the greats in the industry, and, and he's just, psychologically, he's really helped me to believe in myself so that I could give of my best in this project. And I've actually improved as we've been recording. All these things give you a bed. In fact, we even use the word bed. We have a big, a big, a big side chains here. So that when you're in, when the singer's singing, she's supported in the headphones so that I hope she feels that like this is happening now. Quite simply, it's all about connecting with people, and I think that, that this, this album does that very well. It'll be a marriage of the beautiful s strings and the voice sitting in with them, and yeah, I think it'll come up lovely. It, it is about spirit um, and energy, and, I, and I've been guided on this journey very much by my intuition. It's helped me to, to pick the, the particular pieces and Everything that's happened in the process has been a very intuitive process. It's just been like, it's like a journey. <laughs>